welcome to a Hero Arts video with Lucy Abrams. Today I'm going to show you how I created this pair of cards using the Hero Arts and Basic Grey collection called Knee Highs and Bow Ties. Uh, first of all, I thought I'd show you um, the, the whole collection together. Um, it's just lovely. Um, there's the two stamp sets that I'm going to play with today. One of the uh, girls' ones called High Five and the boys' ones called Bam. Then there's this lovely clear set called Once Upon a Time. And then there's the um, tiny heart background. I love that. And the um, Cars and Trucks silhouette stamp. Then we've got the two paper pads. The Knee Highs pad is just delicious. All my favourite colours. You can see all the patterns here. Some tiny hearts, polka dots, everything I love. And then the bow tie selection for some more masculine cards. And you can see there's bugs and trucks and again lots of polka dots in greens and oranges and browns. Now as far as my card making process goes, I thought I'd share a bit of that today. I am a sketcher. This is one of my many sketchbooks. Um, when I'm thinking about buying a new set or a new um, stamp, I often sketch out as many cards as I can with it and see whether it's going to be something that's going to be useful. Then when my new products arrive, um, I can finally look at them properly and uh, look back at my sketches and see whether they're going to work and play around with the different papers. Choosing papers, um, for me, is the slowest process of card making. Um, I love using pattern papers, but I really um, am a perfectionist when it comes to matching patterns and styles. Um, for this card, I knew I, I had in my mind's eye that I wanted a pink and teal combination. That's what I planned. I was determined to use that lovely teal paper in the collection. I also knew I wanted to use um, this heart paper. Um, but then I just tried out all the different combinations. Um, I love that zigzag paper. It's really, really pretty. I thought that would look nice on the card. Didn't actually make it onto the finished product. Love that stripy paper. Again, didn't actually make it onto the finished card. Not for any reason, I would definitely use them in a future project, but they just didn't work with what I was, what I had in my eye, in my mind's eye for this particular card. I knew, however, that I definitely wanted that owl on this lovely pink paper, so I went ahead and stamped that, just using my black Hero Arts ink. If I stamp it right at the bottom, then I can use the the whole of the rest of the paper on another project, and I just fussy cut the um, the little owl. This took a bit of time, especially doing those wings and those legs are quite fragile. And then again, I just I just tried them out on all the different backgrounds to see which one was the best. In the end, I settled on that those hearts and I decided I'd use the teal for a sentiment strip. Um, I chose my st sentiment from one of my all time favorite sets, which is called Year Round Sentiments. And um, just stamped it in black ink. Then I use my Fiskars trimmer to uh, trim it down to size and there's my sentiment strip. Now while I was trying it out, seeing where the owl was going to go, seeing how to place it, I actually went off the colour completely and uh, when I accidentally flipped it over I realised yes white was what I wanted this was the look I was going for so I restamped my sentiment in white and was much more much happier I love the way sometimes cards go completely the different a different way than you intended now I wanted to make my owl um, cry this is one of my favourite techniques on miss you cards so I put a little blob of glossy accents just beneath the eye and then you can see I just flipped it up, flicked it up to create that tear shape. I held it downwards so that it dripped down and there's the finished cards and you can see I added a couple of hearts and some stitching and there's some <laughs> wiggle eyes and there's that teardrop. And then onto my masculine cards. Um, again I had a very clear idea in my sketchbook of where I wanted to go with this card. I wanted to use this black pattern paper and the um, outline rocket from the set and have the rocket flying on the uh, pattern paper. When, I, when the um, paper pad arrived and I actually looked at this black paper I decided it wasn't actually going to be um, the best so I switched it for another piece of black paper that's a, a bit more plain um, also from that collection. Um, and then I chose the colour for my rocket 
I didn't find that one quite so hard because I really love this uh, stripy orange paper and I thought a stripy orange rocket would be really fun. So again I stamped and cut my rocket out and uh, cut out a little star as well because I knew I was going to have stars on my finished card I wanted to see how it all worked together so then it was a case of deciding um, what I was going to have um, what, what background I was going to have, what colour paper again my sentiment comes from the year round sentiments kit set, sorry and um, I had an idea of the layout but it was just a case of of putting it together. I first thought I'd try the orange paper in the background as well as with the rockets but I didn't really like that look so I went through my pad again to choose an alternative. I even looked through the knee highs collection pad too to see whether there was something in there that would work. I tried them all. It was a long process. <laughs> but eventually I settled on the red. I like the idea of the, the rocket being the um, the kind of the only pass the pat the only pattern on the on the card, so it would really draw everyone's attention to it. So once I'd chosen that red, I could go ahead and stamp that sentiment. I always stamp the sentiments before I cut the paper down. Um, this way, if I make a mistake, I've still got lots of paper left. and I could probably do the whole card again um, without wasting another whole sheet of paper. So there's my sentiment all ready and it's finally just time to put the card together. There are quite a few other details I added to this card in the end. Um, I decided to add copious amounts of glossy accents to that rocket itself. I cut out, die cut lots of stars um, for the background. I added some stickles to the stars and um, was left with a lovely shimmery shiny card. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks very much for watching.